create a, a, a solid air of fear. Well, in the UK, you can have the Prevention of Terrorism Act, which makes it legal to detain anyone without a trial. Um, you can issue the, if you're the Home, UK Home, Home Secretary, who's really fucking sane, but not, you can issue control orders for suspects, and you can opt them out of human rights. You can say, oh, you appear to be brown and into Mohammed. Sorry, you're not human, therefore you have no rights. I'm the Home Secretary. Now, you can also hold people for 14 days without charge and without access to a legal counsel. You can, that, that bill, the counter-terrorism bill has now gone through, which in, increased in turn. Um, there's also something called Section 37 of the Police and Justice Act in the UK, which is, a person is guilty of an offence if he supplies, because there are no women that do this, supplies or offers to supply any article believing that it's unlikely to be used to commit or to assist in the commission of an offence. What they mean by that is if you write a sploit that's used in an attack, you're full. Not the person who used your shit, you're full. You know, we're following Germany down the crazy path of nobody's allowed to publish research anymore. It's fucking fantastic. I love being from the UK, that's why I'm moving to fucking Greece. <laughs> so, in the UK, we've got an ever-increasing surveillance state. You know, there are now plans to allow UK government agencies to access all your comms. Not that, you know, they're not doing it anyway, but you know, well, that might it legal to do it. Um, we've got an ever-increasing array of laws. We've got arbitrary censorship, you know? See the Pirate Bay for proof. You know, we don't like the Pirate Bay, we'll turn it off. Where well, you've got bad properties, sorry. And if I go to the Pirate Party and just down that shit in there, sorry. Buy the best. Yeah, that, sorry, technology is hard, isn't it? We also, however, have terrorists. So we've got all these laws and all these cameras and all this censorship. We also have terrorists. So this shit's working, eh? <laughs> now, the point is, in Russia, you can't buy a prepaid SIM. That's been debated in the US, and if it happens there, it'll happen in the UK, I fucking guarantee it, and at some point it'll happen here. Another crazy quote that I fucking love uh, from the US Strategic Command, users wanting to access the internet globally could be required to use a biometric <laughs> scanner before continuing. <laughs> <laughs> fuck the fuck right off. Not happening. Now, obviously, those mechanisms, if they happen, will only be used to address the threats posed by terrorism. They're clearly not going to be used for surveillance purposes, are they? No, 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 we would never do that. Now, I'm not scared of terrorists. There are always going to be idiots with bombs. You know, people will always say, OK, if I blow shit up, do I get 72 versions? Shit, I'm down with that. Why the fuck would you want 72 versions? You're going to be really fucking sore. It's going to chafe. After the first one or two, it's going to be quite sore for quite a long time. <laughs> and it takes quite a long time to get through 72. <laughs> Same, it doesn't make sense. Fuck 72 versions, I want one really dirty bitch who'll do anything. <laughs> Much less <laughs> But yeah, that's why you have idiots with bombs. <laughs> um, and I'm not scared of that. I'm scared of uninformed media reactions to terrorism. You know, if you care, and hopefully you do care about security, we need to define risk, and we need to remove the politics, and we need to remove the sociological aspects of it, because that doesn't belong in IT security. That belongs on a sociology course, where people who grow up to be humanities lecturers or some shit. Now, you can argue about the supposed threats all you want, but can we keep the threats posed in fucking reality? I mean, the great thing that we've got in the UK, as I mentioned earlier today, our response to terrorist threat at the Olympics is to put anti-aircraft silos on top of fucking flats. I'm not making this shit up. That shit's actually happening. That's insane. A, because I don't think a terrorist will want to drive an airplane into the biggest McDonald's in Europe. <laughs> uh, but B, because if you put a missile silo on top of a block of flats, if I lived in the block of flats, I'm going to play with a fucking missile silo. It's on my house! Now, what you've got to ask yourself is how many proven attacks by terrorists, not rogue states, terrorists, have there been? Fucking none. At all. It has never fucking happened. That's the point. I'd like to close on, close on another quote. The enemy is fear. We think it's hate, but it's fear. Gandhi said that, and he was shot by a terrorist. 
<laughs> which may kind of negate everything I've just said. So, questions, comments, abuse, adulation, money, <laughs> sex, drugs, beer, anyone? Joy. What? <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> anyone? Nobody's got anything to say? Awesome, I've beaten you all. Thank you. Oh, you're all really <laughs> fucking bored. So, I'd like to thank conference organisers, blah, 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 blah. Obligado to you for listening. Thank you to terrorists and politicians for being the same, one and the same. Can you share it? Can you please share a few zero days with us? <laughs> I said there will be no zero days, didn't I? Uh, <laughs> you weren't here for that bit because you turned up late. <laughs> so, um, if you want to hire me, you can. I am available for Pentecost, Code Reviews, Bar Mitzvahs, and Children's Parties. Uh, <laughs> 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 can. Uh, thank you very much for your time. I'm now going to the fucking beach! <laughs>